Hello, this is a good level, I admit it. I I grew to like this level. Also, we're playing as Haruna from Is This a Zombie? She actually uses a chainsaw to fight demons and zombies and shit. She also looks like she's 12, but I think that's the one for anime. That's the anime standard. She looks like she's 12, but she's actually 7,000 years old. <laughs> I would not put it past the anime, because what I just told you is the extent of the research I did for this anime, because really, no. He's playing game together! So, um, you see in the thread that guy, some guy did research on that uh, scroll anime. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I am so sorry for... It's <laughs> the most anime thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, so I'm entered Stu, and I have never seen this game before, so... <laughs> what? It's happening. Well, let me explain Sparkle Hunting to you. Uh-huh. I, I actually can't stop you. Sparkle Hunting is when you kill four or more... When three or more zombies at a time, and you'll get this really pretty screen as their heads fly off. Also, these guys are dicks because they can dodge your butt stomp attack, and that's the best way to take care of them, but they, they also dodge it because they're the most annoying enemies in the game. You just beheaded Ganondorf. <laughs> oh no, he's not nearly buff enough to be Ganondorf. You never have a head Ganondorf, you just jab your sword into his eyes. Or in the case of Wind Waker in the middle of his forehead. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. That was the best Zelda, by the way. I don't care what anybody says. Well, no, Link's Awakening. I forgot about Link's Awakening. That was also a pretty good Zelda. Also, this is music from uh, the Donkey Kong game that was made in 1994 for the Game Boy. I played the hell out of that game. I love that game so much. It has good music, and it's actually really hard once you get past a certain point. I've only ever beaten it once. What is it doing here? Um, this is basically a Pac-Man level where you have to run around and collect keys to... Which is why there's Donkey Kong music. Yeah. <laughs> it all makes sense, don't you understand? <laughs> Everything is perfectly normal. I wanted to do Pac-Man, but the Pac-Man tune is only like 20 seconds long. We're just running around a fake Pac-Man, you know, game and... Dressed as a little girl, killing zombies. This is all normal. This is this happens all the time to everybody. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> no, just... I don't blame you. You can you can leave. It's it's cool. Awesome. Also, I'm actually doing the uh, Nick toss on purpose because or Nick shoot. Excuse me, not Nick toss because it's actually better for small groups because the Nick toss lasts way too long, and it just is a waste. So you have control over that roulette looking thing? Yes, you do. You can stop it on whatever you want, whenever you want, if you get good enough at it. Uh, also, <laughs> yeah, this is a thing that happens in this level. Nick is the boy next door. <laughs> right. No one's gonna understand that, and it's better that way. I don't even understand it, and I was here for it. Uh, it's like, hey, Nick, you so fine, you so fine, you my mind. Hey, Nicky. Hey, you my Nicky. <laughs> I'm too pretty to die. You can only save one. Choose. She won't die from that fall. <laughs> she might break something. You know. She could easily break, you know, like her legs, and that would lead to infection, and then she might actually die. Or she could land the wrong way and snap her back or neck or anything, really. Or she might be completely fine. Humans are weird. <laughs> I actually think that this is probably one of my favorite anime tie-in outfits, because the giant-ass ribbon hides all the upskirts. Thank you, giant-ass ribbon. Yeah. You do a valuable service. Do you mean, do you mean giant ass in the sense that it's big, or that it's a giant ribbon on her ass? Both! Yes. Alright. I'm glad we've cleared this up. I'm not speeding through every arcade mission because there's not enough good donkey- Well, there is a good enough, a lot of 
Literally, there is a lot of good Donkey Kong Let's music, start. but I don't feel like looking Let's for check it. Out these elevators. So this one, you get in glorious normal speed. Hooray! Also, this is the only area in the game where zombies right, with light bars surreal. will die from nothing but light attacks. At me, I am seriously gonna vomit all over myself. This is great! I'm such a gangy! That interest you is very lost right now. Yeah. I like how she was making illusions towards <laughs> fake gamer girls. <laughs> Which, if you subs if you subscribe to that shit, then, you know, fuck all that. Yeah. All right. So here's the thing: this level is really, really hard to hit. Dad score. Uh, this is, Guess I think, the hardest one for me to, to do, Nick. simply because now there the aren't a lot of sparkle hunting opportunities. There's like what you just saw right there, and maybe one or two more areas in the level, and that's it. I don't think it's safe to have a door in the middle of an elevator shaft. I don't know about you. Whoa! You had to press different buttons there. You're That's challenging ready. and different. <laughs> How are you gonna get those tokens now? They fly to you. Magically fly towards your ass. Oh. Yeah. My, my favorite. <laughs> hey, at least it's not a cheerleader body this time. Does my butt look less ginormous when I'm all pink like this? Your butt never looks ginormous, Julia. Instead, he just dances and explodes. Are you sure that's dancing? Are you sure he's not having some sort of seizure? <laughs> no. Okay, that's dancing. Yeah. Like I said, he dances and explodes. I really don't know what the hell he was doing. I really don't. Nah. Going up. Also, this guy's a dick because he's always facing you and he always gets a shot off because he can't move fast enough. Ah! Why don't you just slide underneath him? Because you can't slide underneath them. Why not? Because the, same, the game's not better. Metal Gear Rising. I wish it was. <laughs> I wish all games were Metal Gear Rising. Well, maybe not uh, Assassin's Creed 4. I'm having a lot of fun with Which is odd, because you talked about how much you hated Assassin's Creed 3. In a well, Assassin's Creed 3 was garbage. <laughs> and this one's great. Difference being is, you know, Assassin's Creed 3 was stupid shit, and this one's amazing. By the way, you can use stripper poles as a form of attack in this too. Uh huh. Really? Hey, zombies. Uh. <laughs> Do you uh, need an adult? I. There are none here. I'm sorry. Are you sure I can't go back to bed? I don't know. No. No, you can't go back to bed until you send me your audio. Can I go back to bed? Uh, no. Please. No. <laughs> I don't know why that guy's name is Lucid. Because he's a wear man. <laughs> he's like, he's one of those zombies that don't appear unless you're playing the level for the second time. That was a bottle of wine. It's not what you make Molotov cocktails out of, you idiots. They set the cork on fire. <laughs> you can put other stuff that is more flammable in... But the bottle's too thick now. Yeah. Also, it's court. You're so sexy, Nick. Also, I did get the wrong thing here, but whatever. Nick shoots pretty cool. Or Nick Popper, whatever. Nick is pretty cool. Yeah. But the one thing that I do know about this game, the Nick attacks are kind of interesting. Yeah, um, Nick is pretty much the best character in the game, aside from Dad. And you just repeatedly launch him into that zombie's crotch. <laughs> crotch. Yeah. <laughs> that seems to be a running theme whenever I used Nick Popper. Remember the first time I did it and I just kept shooting it into the fat man's dick? Poor Nick. <laughs> well, if you had a disembodied boyfriend, where else would you throw him? I can't refute that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speed up this one because it's really super quick. This is the one where you can just you get ready? done with it within a couple seconds if you know what you're doing. Yay. Oh god, no. Waste high walls. <laughs> Actually, they're pretty tall. Chest high walls. You could still climb over them, but... If I threw myself at them hard enough... 
Alright, so the goal here is to kill the blue ones, and if you just immediately kill the blue ones, then you move on to the next level, and there's only two levels. So. That's not even a wall, you're just going through it. Yeah, it, it's keep designed going. to keep the ball, or that, which is represented by that giant white square shuffling around, uh, it's designed to keep that bouncing around, but... I get it, it's Pong! <laughs> cool. At least you'll never have to wear parachute pants today. So yeah, that was that. This is Ray. the quickest one if you know what you're doing. I like the comic book styling of the score counter. Yeah. The, the entire game has a nice comic book feel to it. Um, you, you haven't seen it, but all of the uh, major characters and bosses have like a comic book style uh, splash page to them. You're gonna love Jonesy James, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I have not told him anything about Jonesy James. Uh oh. I hope. I hope, uh, Oozworm hasn't told him anything about Jonesy James either. Oh no, I'm completely in the dark. I don't know. Oh. He hasn't even mentioned this game to me. Okay. Excellent. Great. <laughs> One more person to surprise. Because okay. I kept building it up in the end. In the thread and in that video and everybody's like nope it's not gonna be good anymore and then that video happened they're like what you're so sexy nick nick you missed that one yeah yeah they can also dodge nick attacks which is kind of cheap a bunch of assholes no wonder they don't get invited anywhere <laughs> i bet you they can't dodge a nick attack And yes, that is Pac-Man people. Are you just having fun with the soundtrack, or is this the game soundtrack? No, no, the game soundtrack has Pac-Man Fever in it. Hey. <laughs> the robot. In fact, the first time you hear it, you, it is actually at this spot. I think it's designed to play, even if you have your own playlist going. Right. You can buy MP3s with uh, the stuff that you get from doing sparkle hunting and make your own short playlist to play over the game's audio normally, but there are points where the game's like, no, you want to listen to this song instead, and it's just play pac man or Dragon Force or something. Yeah, that's my general reaction to Dragon Force 2. <laughs> Just glad I didn't buy plants versus zombies too. <laughs> I don't know, Plants vs. Zombies 1 was a nice distraction. I tried to get it on my phone the second game, and uh, it crashed within me having it for more than a minute. So, I mean, whatever. Thanks, EA. I never, I never, like, fuck up. This part is still awful and nothing but one hit kills, so we're gonna speed up through it, because it's exactly the same. We're playing Spider Man 64. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played Spider Man 64. It looks exactly like this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 100%. A complete copy of Spider Man 64. I'm surprised Marvel hasn't sued yet. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, you've got Spider Man right there. Spider-Man here is, you know, he, he looks exactly like he did. He's wearing his big yellow block costume. <laughs> the UFOs are basically Venom. With a pink girl inside of it. Yeah, that's the Spider-Man logo. And then nothing happens in the boss arena. Okay, so... And there's Jonesy James. Yep, he's wearing a diaper. Well, it's like a UFO. No, no, no. Like, if you look right oh, there... Like, uh -huh. Yeah, yep. Right there between his legs, it's a diaper. What are the women on his UFO doing? Oh, and also something we didn't mention when we did this boss fight last time, because you were too fixated on the diaper, he has high-heeled sneakers. That's pretty great. I'm happy with that. Yep. Also, this is the first time I fought Josie James in a couple months, and I didn't remember anything that he did. So, uh... Are the women on his thing wearing gas masks? 
They don't have faces. Oh. They are also zombies. Don't, don't mention it, they're very sensitive about it. Because <laughs> they have, like, Paul's hair from, uh, Titan. Well, I also think you can kill them. Uh, I don't remember if you can or not, but I'm pretty sure you can chop off their heads and kill the game to really angry about it. Oh, well, yeah. Where are you gonna find another zombie lady with that kind of hair in this town? Nowhere. <laughs> Especially one so resilient to a uh, getting busy. Yeah. You don't, you don't just find zombie Marge Simpsons on the streets all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm still awful at Simon. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No! I'm very glad that Juliet was blocking that particular view. <laughs> I I didn't see any of them light up. Uh, yeah, neither did I in this recording, which is why I was very confused as to what was happening. Because, like I said, this is the first time I've fought him in months, and probably only the second or third time I've fought him ever. So, uh... Yeah. Stay still! I'm out of bullets. Sucks too. Well, you don't really need them. But luckily he's dead. Until Ish. the next phase. Well, he's already dead. Second stage. Well, yeah, okay. Well, actually, was he ever alive to begin with? Was this just his natural state? <laughs> that was our dad, right there. Not my dad. I only wish he was. <laughs> it is my dad, I don't know how that works. Alright, so the second form. Josie James has the lamest hard mode uh, gimmick ever. The vocoder? No. But, hey, remember when we destroyed a couple of these pylons? Josie James' head started flying around and exploding everywhere? Yes. Yeah, his hard mode gimmick is that instead of waiting until the third one you destroy for that to happen, it's just the first one. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's it. That's entirely right. worth another video. <laughs> All of these have been worth another video. All of these have been worth me sitting here for 30 minutes talking about nothing. Hey, hey, this one's not even 30 minutes. This is a short stage. <laughs> So, uh, if Josie James here was your neighbor, how would you feel about that? Uh, is he trying to kill me 24-7? Like a demented Wilson? No, he's just the boy next door. Or is he just kind of hanging out and partying and just having a good time? As long as his party ended by, like, 4 a.m., I think that's the final thing. He's constantly trying to borrow milk. And you have no intention of accepting the milk that he buys to return the favor? No. Because, like, you don't know what the fuck he's done with it. He buys the soy milk. He, he, bu he buys a, a cup of milk and gives you a cup of milk. <laughs> no container. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay, he just can't defeat it. Hand it to you with his hand. As <laughs> in his yeah, hand. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said no container. Hi, I'm Jonesy James. Hello. How you doing? How's it going? Can I borrow some milk? <laughs> Pure no for my pets. Uh, imagine you like go outside, Jonesy James is just peeking over the fence at you. <laughs> Stop it. Stop you doing that. You stare at him. He stares right back at you. You're like, what do you want? I need some milk. 